wanted to get a copy. Oh, I thought the auditor says that it is still a, not a final document. A series of court issues. We are even going to court tomorrow. Just on a, a brief clarification on this issue, this trending issue. Um, for instance, you were supposed to construct, not you, but your predecessor, you were supposed to construct facilities. And uh, these facilities were going to be the property of the NSA. If they were actually constructed, it will be the mandate of the NSA to ensure that these facilities are maintained. Are these facilities part of what NSA is supposed to maintain if they were actually constructed? The point is that in contract management, uh, project management, when the contractor finishes, he hands over the, uh, the facility to uh, whichever institution, his owner and so on. Uh, as we sit down here, per the report, there's nothing showing that all of them were handed over. And uh, mind you, I have not actually read the whole report, whether these facilities were to be managed by NSA or they were to be managed by the beneficiary communities. I don't have the details of that yet. I, I must be frank with you. But those that were constructed within the vicinities of the NSA are being maintained. And I've shown you an example. The one just behind my office here is one of such multipurpose courts. And the NSA is maintaining it. It's under us. So I'm here to find out whether the uh, courts were properly handed over. And if they were handed over, handed over to who? And so on. Because per the report, not all of them were completed. So that is why we said uh, it is not just about an individual taking action, but we need the structures to look at it. And we have the audit committee in place. They will do all this detail work and tell us what exactly the whole outcome is. So, so since when did you realize that there were these structures that were supposed to be built, but as, as we speak, you can't tell whether they were actually built, they were handed over, or they were not handed over. Since when did you actually realize it? When I read the audit file, when I took over, I think about three weeks ago, because when you take over management of any new institution, you have to read all kinds of files to be abreast with uh, issues. And uh, uh, the unofficial uh, handing over notes that I got to, it was not mentioned. Because ideally, all outstanding issues are mentioned in handing over notes. So that's a new person you take over. But I must be frank with you that officially I didn't get any handing over notes. I had to uh, do my own thing to manage to get a, a, something to guide me as a handing over notes to enable me to know because the, the issues must be going concern. But if you are not giving a handing over notes, you see there's a huge gap. I didn't get a handing over notes officially. So I had to divine, de design my own means of uh, getting to understand issues here. So I committed my management members to make some reports for me. And uh, I also read some existing files to guide me. So it was when I read the audit file about three weeks ago that I realized that there were some of these outstanding management issues that needed to be looked at. So I called my internal auditor and uh, my head of accounts, we put our heads together. And we all came to conclusion that the best way to tackle some of these issues is to ensure that we get the audit committee in place. And we lobbied, and it has been formed. So we believe that uh, the, looking at the attitude of the committee, I have no doubt in my mind at all that they will quickly take up most of these issues to help us resolve them. So in, in this report, did it at any point ask you to reach out to some of your previous sectors to find out what actually these monies were you? No, no. And have you made a point, point at the No, because... As I said, it is not me, the individual, who should do it. It is a mandated committee. When they come, whoever they need to meet to get further and better particulars and details, they will do. And have you empowered the committee you've set up to reach out to your predecessors? I have. I don't, I don't get The committee is a statutory committee. It is established by the Public Financial Management Act. And I don't 
form that committee. That committee is formed by the Director General of Internal Audit Agency. So we don't have any hand in it at all. So he does a selection and he inaugurates them. They swear uh, all oaths that are required by constitution. And they did that three days ago. So that committee, first of all, is not under the whims and caprices of NSA. It is made up of professionals, chartered accountants, quantity surveyors, auditors. Uh, a management member is not even seven on it. It's a director, a line director. So management doesn't have any hand in whatever they do. And uh, a board member also serve on it. Except that we don't have our board in place yet, so they are now a full member. As soon as the board is formed, uh, the board will nominate one to go and serve on it. So that committee, yes, so 14th September is their first meeting uh, to come out with their plans of activities and programs and so on. So all the audit file, everything will be given to them. And then all outstanding issues, not just this year, all audit outstanding issues about NSA, they will take them up. Considering, considering this, I'm just taking a look at this file and considering all the things you are telling me, it, it means that either these facilities were constructed or not constructed and either these monies were paid or not overpaid. For instance, when you were speaking, you did say that these constructors were invited over and they were told they were overpaid. You invited. Over. You, you did mention that some of these constructors were reached out to be told that they were. I said they were written to. They were written to. Yeah, my predecessors that this is what the auditor is saying. He's saying. So they should refund. So is the auditor uh, who, who is saying that they were overpaid? Yes. But the previous administration didn't know that they overpaid them. No, that one there. That is what they, that is the essence of audit. That is why we have audit. There should be checks and. Uh, uh, cross checks and cross checks. So that's the essence of auditing. Otherwise, there will not be a need of auditing. So, being a human institution, there could be oversight. That is why somebody must come from outside to also look at what uh, what you have done, and they also make a recommendation and so. So that is the essence of auditing. So when the external auditor comes and he finds any anomaly, then he draws your attention to correct it. So that's the essence of auditing. Which of these constructors is owed? I can't see, as a city. I can't, oh, so I think uh, MS, no, MS Charles and Stevens. Yeah, old how much? No, I, can't, I don't have it on top of my head. I don't have it on top of my head. But that one, I, he did, I think they did the Enchi one. And then one was in Enchi. That, this constructor did it. And, uh, and then Obuasi, he did two. So I think it is in one of them that he was overpaid. And then I think. Have you taken the pain to go around to see whatever these facilities in other countries? I have not gone around yet because there are a lot of internal issues I need to deal with. So the fancy of going around has not come at all. What are these internal issues? Oh. When you come around and all your accounts because of debt have been garnished, would you even have the interest? Where? We didn't, we didn't even have vehicles to travel. Oh, is that, is that, this is why you know. This is an open, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? <laughs> <laughs> we did, all, all our vehicles had been impounded. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so how, how could you go around? You don't even have money to buy food. Do <laughs> eh? okay. you know how to use my personal, my own car for about three months? We managed recently to put one of the cars on road for us to use. So a lot of challenges. So what do you go? At? What are you going to look at? You need to at least solve some of the internal issues to make sure that you are moving before you can think about going. So I've not officially, I've not taken any official visit. Kumasi, I went to Kumasi because of Black Star March, and I went to Cape Coast for management retreat and the, uh, inter, uh, the inter circuit yeah. athletics. Yes. But for official visit to go and see facilities, I haven't done that because we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a pleasure.